Not, not yet. Did you? Okay. Not yet. So the wheels fall off. Okay. It's on HBO Max. I think one of the coolest things about that documentary is it shows how many times he fails to land the 900. Mm, okay. So it's like the first 30 minutes But what do you think about that journey as an athlete to try and try and fail but eventually reach your goal? I mean, a lot of people think we just get it and it clicks like right off the bat and like we would love that, but that's just not the case. Um, Part of being, you know, a, a top athlete is the, the grit, the grind, the hard practices, the fails, the fails, um, and I mean, there was a lot for him, and that, that's that's a little bit worse than like, you know, going up and getting shot blocked or rimming out. Like, you're not hitting pavement <laughs> um, at a very high speed. Um, so just his, I mean, his will to to land it. I mean, it was greater than the fails, no matter how many they were. Is skating still something that you do for, for fun with your mental health? A little bit, a little bit. I've eased up now. Um, I've eased up a little bit. I uh, still admire it, but uh, I do a little long, I do a little bit more longboarding and skateboarding now too. Like I'll go hit the parking garages, just curve down, elevator up. Okay. Um, but yeah, yeah, I go through on my longboard a lot. Now. How did you make that transition? What kind of board do you ride? Uh, shit. Shoot, sorry. Uh, <laughs> Don't worry, we won't Arbor, Arbor something. I like the bamboo boards. I like the boards with a little bit more bounce to it. Okay. So I can like yep. kind of wave into it a little bit more. Okay. So I like a little bit more give on mine. And sticky wheels, I'm not trying to do any slides. Is your longboard extra long? <laughs> it's a pretty long one. Yeah, custom? it's a pretty long one. Like if yeah. you, no, not custom. I got it in the shop, but if okay. it's from ground up, Probably it's about my hip. Yeah, about to my hip. Did I also read your kind of rollerblade? I do rollerblade. I love rollerblading. Um, <laughs> inline skating, actually. Inline. I haven't found any um, four wheels yet, so okay. it's hard finding a size 17 four wheels, you know? I luckily found some inline. I want some speed skates, though. Okay. Like, I want to I wanna get out and do some speed skating. Good cardio, and it's fun, but size 17 is pretty hard. I was just going to ask if all of your hobbies involve wheels. Just about, yeah. yeah. ATVN, I mean, dirt bikes, uh, four wheelers, off roading in my Jeep, mm -hmm. truck. Yeah, everything okay. pretty much wheels. <laughs> wheels, yeah, I like wheels. I like to be firmly on the ground, though. Yeah. So. Oh, no, I got that. Um, oh, Congratulations, um, Thank you, thank yeah. you, thank you. Honored to be here. Uh, it's going good. I'm, I'm loving it. It's reminded me of being at home in Texas with the rain coming in, you know, like, oh, it's going to be a nice day, and then here comes the rain. So uh, I'm kind of used to that, but uh, I'm loving it. It's, it's been really good so far. Over your emotions like last night. Oh, I mean, that was crazy. Uh, being on the boat and, uh, and coming through, was just it was just a whole experience. I mean, totally different from my first two that I got to do where, you know, we just walked majority of it, everything. Um, so it was nice to kind of float by this time. I couldn't imagine walking that long though. <laughs> sure go, we're gonna walk the river. <laughs> I don't know about that. <laughs> to maybe roll the river. <laughs> if you could narrow it down to one, what do you think the team is your biggest takeaway from the exhibition matchup? Uh, just defending. I mean, we know we can get up, you know, with the talent that we have on this team, we know we can get up shots. But, you know, some there's games where they just don't fall and we got to rely on our defense. And I think uh, in, that, in that game against Germany that, especially towards the end, we started to really click, helping each other, um, being there. Um, it's a team sport. You know, we got we to gotta defend all together. Um, so I think that was a big thing that we took away from that, from that game. BG, what has it been like just to be here, to be in the National Game? DC said something this morning at the press conference about she thought it might have been hard for you to get on the plane. Was it? Or was it weird? Or? Um, no, not too bad. It wasn't too bad getting on the plane. Uh, the train was a little different story, but uh, it's been good. I mean, overall, everything's been great. Uh, it's been pretty easy for me. I mean, my, my mind is kind of just stuck on we're here for gold. You yeah. know, that's, that's the goal. And um, just being locked in on that and kind of knocking out all the other thoughts and noise. Uh, I don't know if you remember this because I'm sure a lot of people did this, but at the final four, one day we were all in the hotel lobby and these, I saw these two little girls run over to you and ask for a picture. And they were so excited, you know, it's PG, it's PG. And when you were taking the picture, I was thinking, like, this is wild. Like, a year ago, her life was completely different. Yep. Do you have 
those moments still where or does it does it feel far away or does it feel like you were going no, through all that reason? with me no it's always with me um and there's definitely moments of like oh well wow, like this could be totally different um i could be seeing this beautiful view from bars um yeah no it, it doesn't go away uh, it makes you appreciate everything else a little bit more too so. do you think that you will be like emotional uh, when the anthem plays when you on the jersey on Monday for the first game? Like, oh, or are you just man. like, we don't have time for this? <laughs> um, well, I'm trying to tell myself we don't have time for that to be locked in. Um, but I mean, there's there's going to be emotions here and there uh, all through it. Through it. I mean, every, there's going to be emotions everywhere. But so I think there's a lot of emotions going on for everybody, though. And it's, then Shirella is home yes. with the baby. Yes. And how many photos and videos a day are you getting? Oh, so many, so many. I can't get enough. I can't get enough of them. Does it feel different, this Olympics, than the, than the past, considering what you went through? Um, no, I mean, it's still the Olympics. It's still, you know, the the highest stage you can get on. Um, I mean, yes. I just appreciate everything. Like I said, I just appreciate everything more than now. You know, um, taking in the bonding, the seeing everybody, the sights. Uh, really appreciating that because it can totally be different. What does it mean to you to represent the USA on you? Represent the USA? Uh, I mean, it's always meant everything to me. My dad, my Marine, uh, 68, 69. And uh, for us, for me to represent my country, uh, it means everything to him, me, myself. Um, before basketball, I wanted to be in our military, actually. So um, now to be able to put it on and be honored to be picked again amongst so many amazing women, uh, be here at their time. I'm just, I'm really stoked. Is he gonna be here? Is he no, coming over? No, my dad will not be here. My dad will not be here. So who's coming if dad's not here, Cheryl's not here? My wife's coming later on. Oh, she's she coming is? Later okay, on. Cool. Yeah, she's coming later on. Yeah, she's coming later on. Diana, as well, you know, your sixth Olympics and being along the last two with me, what is your guys' you know, Olympic journey that have been like? I think I'll be more emotional for that, honestly. Um, you know, just any chance I get to be with D, based on my whole career, has been with, with D overseas, um, USA, and Phoenix. Uh, she taught me everything. Uh, I mean, I credit a lot of my everything to her, um, helping me out, helping me navigate life, basketball, um, overseas, international play, uh, and just being able to share this sport with her, you know, for another Olympics. It's very special. Yes, having caught here, her first one, uh, having three people from the Mercury. I know the organization is happy. Uh, I'm thrilled for her. Just watching her taking in, I remember my first one. I was just with eyes open, like, just, oh my God, I can't believe I'm here right now, like, seeing everybody. Um, so just watching watching it through her eyes now, it, it's a treat. How long do you think DT can play? I mean, I think DT can play as long as DT wants to play. Um, I already told her though, she can't retire until I retire, so uh, hopefully <laughs> hopefully that doesn't happen. What's <laughs> the reaction from other athletes? People come up to you and say, congratulations, people haven't seen you. Yeah, yeah, so I got to see my, my coach um, for Spain. That was my coach in Russia. Um, and assistant coach Nacho as well, Miguel and Nacho. Um, and then I got to see Alba as well. Um, and I haven't seen them since everything happened like I got they got cut short and I didn't get to see them so that was my first time getting to see them the other day in the hallway and it was a really good one for us um, I was super super excited to see them couldn't wait for it uh, yeah no it's definitely been athletes coming up to me you know just saying they follow my story you know they pray for me they you know they glad that I'm out and it means a lot you know because at the end of the day you know we're all athletes we're all in this together and um, it's bigger than sports you hear that a lot and I used to hear it a lot now I understand it even more. Did you always maintain it? Not always, but um, it was a dangerous thing to have because, you know, you just got to accept it at a certain point. And, um, yeah, there was points where I just was like, this is, this is what it is. Yeah. Um, and so when that day came, it was, it was even sweeter. Yeah. Given what you went through, do you follow that Wall Street Journal reporter's situation? Yes, I do. And, um, you know, my heart goes out to his family. Uh, if I can send a message, I tell them don't give up hope because we're not going to stop. Uh, bring our family home, we're not going to stop. Uh, we're going to keep pushing and trying to get everybody home back to their families. PG, are you sharing the name of your baby or no? Oh, it's out there. His oh. name's Batch. Okay.